What's going on everybody? Gemmin here and welcome to the Gemmin Collectibles Week O Halloween. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. That's right. It's the Gemmin Collectibles Week of Halloween. I wanted to start this on Monday. However, Sideshow had a few time sensitive pieces that came out. I did a review on the premium format Taskmaster as well as the Symbiote Black Suit Spider-Man. Uh, so make sure to check out those reviews. And also Wednesday was the new comic reviews, not really ha Halloween related, although they had a Jeff Loeb, Tim Sale, long Halloween chapter. Anyway, we're starting it today and every day until Halloween, we're gonna do some horror related statue unboxings and reviews. That's right, this time we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface quarter scale premium format by Sideshow and from PCS, the Michael Myers Halloween statue. So. We're going to jump into these unboxings, but before you do, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss one. And if you're digging these videos, hit that like. Let's jump into the unboxing, y'all. All right, guys, let's start off with Michael Myers here. So you can see we have the COA. This is number 305 out of 1500. Quarter scale statue by PCS, who now goes by Premium Collectible Studio. Let's go ahead and remove those straps. You see they have the nice logo on the top, taking off the lid. You can see the pieces wrapped in plastic. Let's get that off of there. And let's take a look at these pieces up close here. So let's start with that pumpkin. I like the jack-o'-lantern, the carved pumpkin, giving you the real Halloween vibe. You can see how much detail is sculpted in there to make it look realistic. Great paint applications on there, showing the lighter to darker hues of orange. And it does have a light-up feature. If you take off the top, you put in a battery. And boom, you have that light up feature that flickers to really make it look like a candle inside. I really like that aspect of this piece. Here we have his left hand. You can see great texturing, great paint applications on the skin tone. You see the veins on the top of his hand and on his wrist as well. Very realistic. I think they did a great job sculpting and painting the hand. Here's one of the right hand options. So this is with his blade. It feels like a metal tip as well. Uh, same great paint applications and detail in the hand. <laughs> you got the stabbing motion. And then you have the uh, exclusive switch out that has the blood on it. So I think you got to go blood stain if you have the option, right? I like the, uh, the effect there. It looks good. Some splattering going on there. Very nice. Metal as well. Then we have the portrait. Love the portrait. I think it looks great. You have the mask, Michael Myers. You can see the detail on the mask. You see his eyes and his real face behind it there. You have the uh, mixed media for the hair. So that looks good, feels good. Then we have the body himself. So you have the sculpted boots. It's got some weathering on it. The laces are sculpted. Looks like he's got some Timberlands. <laughs> You can see like the dirt there, uh, fabric for the jumpsuit. So going all the way up, got the black tee underneath, which is fabric as well. And he sculpted uh, underneath. You can see where the hands will key in. A little bit of wear on the left knee there, on the thigh. And then just taking a look at the back as well. Here's the bottom of the base. Like I, I've already mentioned the addition size and so many Easter eggs going along the side of this base here. You have the house number 709, the great wood paneling. It looks like a real house, but transformed into a circular base. And again, just iconic scenes from the movies here, which is something that both of these pieces have in common. Great looking wood texture on the top as well. Let's go ahead and get that on the turntable. We'll do the quick assembly for Michael Myers. Put that bad boy down. All right, Michael Myers has the key with the peg on his left foot here. So we'll get that in there and boom. Now you got to kind of pull back the fabric a little bit on the sleeve so you can get the arms keyed in. So we're just going to go ahead and lift that up a little bit. And then once we have some room, we can go ahead and key in the left hand. There you go. Let's go ahead and pop on that portrait real quick. And then we can go ahead and switch out that right hand. First, we'll look at that clean blade. Has it been used yet? Again, you're going to want to move back the fabric there. So there we go. So that's one option. And then we'll switch that out and we'll take a look at the, uh, the bloody blade. All 
Guys, before we jump into Leatherface, a quick shout out to Street Level Hero. SLHLA.com has exclusive variants with new drops every Tuesday and Thursday. They have this new Gambit variant for X-Men 5, which is awesome. Save 10% off of that by using the code GEMMINT at checkout. That's good on any item on the shop, anytime you shop there. Just like their sister site, that's SpidermanBooth.com. They have $30 mystery boxes where you're guaranteed 5 comics of retail value. One of those lucky boxes per round will have their giveaway prize, their GP, which is in this case is a copy of Amazing Spider-Man 129 ungraded first appearance of the Punisher and this round will end on November 3rd so make sure to scoop up a box use code GEMMINT to save 10% and that's good every time you shop there as well all right guys on to Leatherface Texas Chainsaw Massacre he does have the butcher's apron on top of the box let's take that out real quick so this is fabric as well love that huge blood stain there it's got like a glossy shine to it the splattering everywhere it looks great Going down to the bottom, it does have wiring on the bottom, so you can kind of, you know, move or pose that however you'd like. Different texture on the inside with some strings that you can tie around his waist and over his head. All right, let's get off the lid of this box. This one has a bunch of tissue paper there. We'll remove that. And let's look at some close-ups here. So, let's start with the base on this one. So, this one's 480 out of an edition size of 1,000. This is a premium format, this is Sideshow Collectibles, and like Michael Myers, the base is chock full of Easter eggs from the movie as well. So you have the bludgeoning there, you have him busting down the door. This one is uh, more of a darker base, and the top has wood again, darker wood, but all the chicken feathers and blood on the floor. Alright, let's take a look at some of these pieces. So These are parts of the chainsaw that have magnet tips, you'll see that during the assembly. Then here we do have the anvil hammer. Got a good metal tone to it. Pretty simple uh, handle. Then we have two wood planks. These are gonna be uh, pieces of the base that we'll assemble here. You got some rope there as well. Great texturing on the wood though. Looks very realistic. And then his right arm holding the chainsaw. So great skin tones, great sculpt there. Again, you see the veins on the top of the fist. This one going up his forearm, a little blood splatter there. And then the, the iconic yellow chainsaw. Got blood stains on there as well. That looks awesome. You can see the intricate sculpt uh, to give you that realism. And then just showing the, the hand here and the inside of the arm. And then the portrait, wow. Looks amazing, his messed up teeth, his crazy eyes, and then of course that stitched mask on his face. This is a an intense portrait, man. I think it looks great. You got the hair flowing in the back, which is sculpted on this piece. And just has an insane look to him. Lastly, we'll look at the body. This one has fabric as well, so very dirty weather type of t-shirt. He has the tie there. The other arm sculpted in and has the magnets on the inside for the chainsaw piece. Fabric pants and sculpted boots with the weathering at the tip there. You can see it has the key and the peg as well, similar to Michael Myers. This one is not a standing up and down pose though, more dynamic, dirty back. It looks like sweat stains. And again, the veins and the realism of the texture of the skin. All right guys, let's set this base down. Well, very similar to Michael Myers, a little bit more subtle on the Easter eggs, I'd say, almost like it was uh, chiseled into wood. We'll go ahead and get Leatherface keyed in there. This one I had to wiggle around just a little bit to get it right, but we get it together. Then we'll add those base elements, those wood planks on the back. They have keys that match uh, the holes and they're different so you can tell them apart. We'll go ahead and get the portrait in there. You're gonna wanna move the collar away just a little bit. But there we go. Similar to Michael Myers, you're gonna to wanna to roll up that sleeve and it's kind of a, a weird angle. So you really gotta get in there, it's kind of difficult. Uh, but the chainsaw has to go like across his chest and almost into his other hand. So that's kind of the angle you're going for there. All right, boom, we finally got it. Now to those uh, two small elements that will connect from connect his hand to the chainsaw basically. So there we have the first one and then We'll swing it around, get the second piece in there, and then we'll take a look at both of these guys in all of their glory. All 
All right, guys, there we have him. First of all, huge shout out to my friend Adrian out here in El Paso. I forgot to mention in the beginning, he dropped these off on me so that I can do this Halloween week. And the reason why I did two at once, he dropped off so many pieces. You're going to continue to see sideshow quarter scale horror pieces, and they're going to get more classic and more grail status as we go along. Uh, I think these are dope, man. First of all, looking at Michael Myers, I love the base. I like how they made this circular representation of a house with all the wood paneling and all the texturing that goes into each wood plank on the bottom, on the sides, even on the top. And then again, all the Easter eggs that I mentioned going around the base, you know, the home where this all took place uh, at, at House 709. Love the jack-o'-lantern on top with that lighting effect. I think that's really a good look. Now, he felt a little underscaled to me, but I understand Michael Myers has had different actors portray him with different heights and weight. This kind of is the original movie, like the, the 510 version of Michael Myers, because Leatherface is much bigger than him in these scales, as you can see. Uh, but he's just standing straight up, kind of has a museum pose, uh, even less so because he doesn't have one leg up. I do love the details in the mask. I like the paint applications that they use on there. So you can tell it's like a fake mask on top of a real person's face. Looks awesome. And then they went with the non-sculpted hair. I thought that was interesting. Now you want to be careful. I didn't show you guys up close, but up top, his hair got singed by being too close to a light in Adrian's display. So you got to be careful with that or use LEDs, I guess. So that's Michael Myers moving on over to Leatherface. I kind of like how these statues Kind of companion each other with the storytelling bases this one is more grim more grotesque it's actually skin that's stapled uh, or nailed into these planks on the side here you, you have to really look at this for a while to take it all in so it's not so much that it's carved in wood it's kind of like skin forming this story it's kind of creepy and symbolic if you think about it all those feathers with blood stains on the top of the base look great the hammer which i just kind of threw on there and then Leatherface himself, he's huge. Now this character was taller, he was uh, 6'4", right? So that makes more sense. Sculpted boots, fabric costume. I didn't show me putting the apron on, but as you can see, I have it on here. And uh, I love his pose, that in motion pose, so much more dynamic, uh, charging at you with a chainsaw and this insane portrait. The portrait is nightmare fuel. He looks crazy, he's got his deformed face, but the mask over his face, that looks great. And I think they did a really good job on the fabric as well. Like I showed you guys when I was looking up close, kind of like that sweat stained back because this guy is not <laughs> known for his hygiene. Uh, two great pieces to kick off the week of Halloween, man. Let me know what you think about Michael Myers from Halloween and Leatherface from Ch uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre in the comments down below. Let me know what horror pieces you think I'm going to be reviewing next. And just one hint, they're all quarter scale. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching, but don't go anywhere. Check out my other statue unboxing, uh, <laughs> unboxings and reviews and stick around for the rest of week of Halloween. Stay minty fresh. I'm going to leave you with these guys spinning on the turntable. Peace.